Okay, virtual students, we are going to just go over a, a, a lab that we did today just to kind of clarify some things with you because we're going to be doing a real cool um, electrophoresis lab on Monday and Tuesday. Um, this is a thing called Who Are the Parents? So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to match up baby three, two, and one with either the Meanies, the Glicks, and the Moes. Okay, so what we do is we look here at baby one and we look at these lines. These are where the bases have combined with their complementary bases and had left us a message in the form of a mark. And we look here and this goes with um, the marks here on the glicks. This goes with the marks um, also here on the glicks. And uh, so if we wanted to compare and see who the meanies was, that's this one right here with a child it would be this one because if I look down here this baby three goes right over here this baby three goes right over here this goes right over here for the dad this was with the mom this was with the dad this is with the mom and this is with the dad so baby three goes over here with these guys with this uh, meanies okay all right so um, it says is it possible for a child to have DNA band that is not found in the mother yes it can be from the father so we turn this over and we look now and we see that um, we have a thing called the ladder. We're going to ignore that for today. We're going to look and see, can either man be excluded as the father? Well, if we look here at father one, okay, that doesn't match anything with this child. So father one can be excluded. Um, and then how many probes were used? This is something that kids seem to always get wrong. Um, they want to say that there's like 15 different probes or whatever. Remember, you can only use one probe per test. Okay, now in a court of law, it's going to take lots of tests. It's going to take like six to eight tests to prove it. But you are going to have to use the same probe in here. If I use probe, say, for example, CGAT mm -hmm. on the father and I use ATT on the mother and CGAT on the uh, child, then we are going to be like comparing apples and oranges and we'll never see any similarities. So on this, we have to use this whole thing with ATT or CGT or something else. So six to eight tests have to be run and the same probe on each one of those tests. We can't mix the probes with, up within the test, okay? Um, so is the DNA profile sufficient to establish paternity? No, or establish... Um, if it's not paternity and that would be no because we have not run enough tests so this is kind of just a precursor to what we are going to do um, on the next day which is we are going to take and we're going to actually we're going to actually do this we're going to put some dna in these spots on monday and tuesday and then we'll have a crime scene and we will compare suspects one two and three and try to figure out which ones it is um, so in this case, um, the suspect would be two because it matches the crime scene and it matches all of them. Now, this also matches suspect one and three, but you need to have the whole entire match, okay? All right, that's it for today.